Hi guys, welcome back to my channel at Diamond a Trip and today I'm gonna show you a simple DIY tutorial Plus I'll be talking about one of the places that I've been to recently Had an amazing, beautiful, calm picnic So stay tuned for more By the way, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and click the subscription button Tell a friend, to tell another friend about this channel I love the love and support so far. Early birds, big up yourself. New subs, big up yourself. And the ones that I'm gonna convert in this video, big up yourself as well. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so this is a real simple tutorial. Like recently, I went to this hidden gem in Jamaica. I can't believe it has existed for all these years. It's called Calde's Hidden Beauty, and it's truly a gem. I swear, if you want a retreat, that's the place to go. And no, I'm not sponsored by them, but I really do like the place. It was my first time being there and I wanted to have a picnic and I decided that I wanted to go to a river. Best thing about Calbee's is that not only is the river gorgeous and there's a lot of greenery, but they do have like a flat surface. They do have landscape that's pretty flat for you to play games and even for you to have picnic like I did. And what I'm gonna be showing you today is what I did in terms of decorating my space. You can use food, colorful food, similar to what I did. And you also can use decorative pieces. And all you need is just a pickle bottle jar or a Harlix jar or just any type of jar really a glass jar and rope well I call it a rope but it's actually like yarn rope or I forgot what the name is and you need some scissors okay so this is pretty simple so you're gonna get your rope that I have here you're gonna get your bottle whatever bottle it is I got these bottles from I mean I wasn't about to buy any bottles like literally I had these lying around in my house and I was like hmm I could use this um, but if you don't like I said you can recycle glass jars um, if you eat olives pickle you know one of those pickle pepper jars I call it pickle pepper jars because like you know if you're if someone is coming up from Jamaica they're gonna stuff that type of jar they use that jar for pickle pepper because we love our scotch bonnet pepper and all the other things so pretty much you can have your rope here you're gonna take it and you're gonna make a knot around the end right here, like I'm doing. A bit bigger. I'm not tying it too tight because you'll see, but you just make a knot. Take that all the way to the top. I'm not making it extremely tight. Okay. I'm just gonna cut this off. Oh my god, the struggle is real if you are a lefty and you're using a right-handed scissors. The struggle is real. So, oh man, that's pretty much like that. And then I'm gonna get my yarn here. I'm gonna measure it. I'm gonna make it longer than the length of the bottle. And you're gonna do around, if you're using one of those standard jars, you're probably gonna do around, I don't want it that long. You're probably gonna do around eight of these. I'm doing, I'm not doing so much because my jar is, it's longer, but it's also narrower. So I won't be doing it, but I do recommend that you do eight of them. Gonna do, I'm actually gonna do four of these sizes. So I'm doing one, two, three, four. I'm doing four pieces. I do recommend that you do eight. It depends, but I do recommend that you do eight. And I'm doing four pieces because my bottle, like I said, is a little bit strong. Small. <laughs> what am I saying? It's narrower at the mouth. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it. So pretty much you're gonna get your rope I keep on saying rope but you know it's not rope it's like whatever I forgot to call it toot something another it's yarn so 
So I'm going to get that and I am going to place it here. I hope it's long enough actually. You want it to be long enough, it, it doesn't have to be. And I'm going to just place it, I'm going to place it right here and I'm going to spread it out into sections and make sure that it's the sections are pretty even. And for those who want to come for me because I'm not using pickle bottle jar, I have olives and I recently had like I can't believe I feel so bad because I literally threw it out. I threw out my um, the the last olive jar that I had. I drew, threw it out and that's why I don't have it. But if you don't have it, they can go ask your neighbors. <sighs> can't ask my neighbor for it <laughs> it doesn't work like that <laughs> it doesn't work like that here so pretty much I have it here I just want to show you and this is pretty much how you're gonna have it starting off looking like this right and I'm just gonna make sure that my the, the length here has to be the same so I'm just gonna go in and I realize that one isn't so I'm just gonna make it get it the same yeah so after I decided that I was gonna have a picnic scene okay this decided that I was gonna have a picnic because I wanted to have a picnic picked the location looked for like nice foods or things that I can do to like um, get a nice potter and a spread for my picnic Go into the market, go negotiate with the people them for all on their price so we can't get like something cheaper, right? <laughs> After I'm gonna do all that, right? After I did all of that, went to Calbiz, where I went there with me and a friend who happens to be male. And you have all these onlookers, you know, there and them. You know how Jamaicans are, we're super inquisitive, you know, we're fast. And this woman, you know, we know so we're fast, you know, so we're primed to, so you know that we we don't mince words. So she came up to me and she's like, me and my friend are sitting down, enjoying our <laughs> our um, little picnic. And she came up to me and she's like, oh, that's this is so cute, this is so pretty. And then she looked at me, me though, and then she's going to say to me. Oh, and you should be happy. Like he did a great job. He did a great job. So my friend just laughed, and I was like, "Yo, really?" After I did all that work, like seriously. So, yo, I was like, "Thanks for the comment," but I did it. But I didn't tell her. Do I was just like, "Yeah, thanks," and move on. But then I was like, "Yo, I did all of that," and she took a stripe off me and put it on him. So anyway, after you have all the first sections like I just showed you, you're going to take each yarn, you're going to make knots, and uh, then you should probably have like four knots, well five if you count the one that you did before, and that's pretty much what I'm doing here. You're going to tie the knots because you want to hold them in place. I'm gonna try to make sure that it lines up to this one there. So pretty much this is how it's gonna look so far. 
you're going to take one string from each side and you're going to basically pair it with the other string on the opposite side where it's knotted and then you're going to make a knot there and you're going to continue all the way to the end and so far so good so this is where you're supposed to be at right now we're almost finished and i'm going to just show you how you get all of those together so you have your your knots you're gonna get some yarn you're gonna measure a small section right here I'm gonna make it a little bit wider than that though because I have to tie it you want it to be smaller than the base that I have right here and you're pretty much gonna tie some knots right here and this is pretty much going to help hold it into place I'm just gonna cut off the extras so pretty much this is the end product that you're seeing right here uh, it's pretty easy and simple to do you can use this as a decorative or an accent piece for a picnic or just in general if you want to just use this at home that's perfectly fine as well uh, picnics are a good like easy to do thing to just add a little bit of just to make things a little bit different and interesting so manono fauno you'll be going to the beach and then after the beach you'll be going to kfc nah <laughs> no no nothing against kfc but you can do a little bit you can do something a little bit different you can literally just prepare foods at your home make sure that they're colorful have a nice little spread drop some decorative pieces like this and <laughs> You got an event you got a nice space you created memories it's really as simple as that and you don't necessarily need to be going to the beach or the river to have a picnic if you have a patch of land a patch of grass you know your backyard you can easily have a picnic there and if you don't have any outside outdoor land space you can simply have a picnic inside right in your living room just move the furniture it's so as simple as that I hope that you enjoy this video if you haven't checked out Calbee's go ahead I I highly recommend that spot you're gonna be in love with it like the road to get there is not like a hundred <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna drive through some so um yeah it's not a dirt road but you get you get drive you get the road isn't to 100 um, but trust me it's worth the journey you may get lost several different times but it's also worth the trip and uh, if you go if you have been there comment down below if you're if you have an interest in going there just share this with a friend I had so much fun and I will definitely be visiting that place again until next time thank you so much for watching and keep safe bye <laughs>